Hello students, how are you? I think you are fine by the grace of Almighty and I am also fine by the grace of Almighty. Welcome, welcome to my class and also welcome to my YouTube channel Learn with Sultan Joy. So today we shall discuss Nelson Mandela. This is part 2. Okay. In part 1, I have already finished the text and their meanings and many other things. Today we shall discuss synonym, antonym and they are derivatives i mean noun adjective verb adverb we shall discuss from this passage right form of verbs i mean the gap fillings and mcq i mean the multiple choice questions we shall discuss about the mcq and also question and answer sessions so a lot of varieties actually we shall discuss today so have a look at this in our passes i mean the nelson mandela's passes you see there there are a lot of difficult words you will have to find out the meaning of the difficult words and not only find out finding out all the meaning you will have to find out the synonyms antonyms and the derivatives okay so i am i am i am describing about this the first word the first word is shackle you know shackle is what kind of parts of speech it's a noun okay and the synonym of shackle is what chain or restriction this is the synonym of the shackles and it what will be the antonym so antonym means a different word opposite word and synonym means the similar words okay so antonym will be freedom the bar form is also the shackle adjective form is shackled and you see the another word lord you know lord means to praise or to acclaim this is the synonym I mean the similar words and the antonym will be denigrate bar form is also lord noun form is also lord and adjective form is laudable and the third is hill you know hill is a very buzzing word hill means uh, restore or reconcile its antonym will be orsen and it noun will be healer adjective will be hill able okay and the next word is emancipation this is very important word emancipation suffix is t-i-o-n so if there is t-i-o-n that word must be a noun so it's a noun what will be the synonym of the emancipation that is liberation that is release antonym will be repression or deprivation okay and the verb form is emancipate this is the verb and adjective form is emancipated the next is imprisoned you see imprisoned is the adjective form you know the past participle form of any verb that will be uh, adjective form so it's the adjective form synonym will be jailed or cased and antonym obviously will be free noun form will be prison verb will be imprisoned that means you will have to add some prefix so i have a class actually in my youtube channel how to be well known about the suffix and prefix you can easily be known about these two topics suffix and prefix in my youtube channel i will give you a link in my i buttons and you can get from it okay and also i will give it in my description box you can check it out next word is reconciliation you, you see the reconciliation means the settlement or the reunion and the antonym will be the separation verb will be reconcile and adjective will be reconcilable this suffix and prefix is very important to be well known with a new words okay you will have to improve your vocabulary it is very necessary for your writing skills for your speaking skills and also the reading skills you will have to know the every words derivative it will also helpful for you let us turn on the mcq questions from here you saw mcq question means multiple choice questions okay you see the first mcq is what does apartheid refer to in the title i mean apartheid means what so there are four answer here for first is apart apart means surface it's not will be the answer then is distance distance is making difference that will be not answer and the third is discrimination so obviously this is the answer apart apartheid is one kind of discrimination last is dialogue so it is not will be the answer so ultimately the answer is c that is discrimination and number two the word icon in the text means line three so according to line three what is the meaning of the icon you see icon means the idol okay 
So portrait it's not the answer, image it is not the answer and finally D idol, idol is the answer okay. And number three, what does shackles refer to line three? What the line three says, have a look at this. Nelson Mandela guided South Africa from the shackles of apartheid. That means Nelson Mandela actually directed South African people from the shackles. So here shackles means what? According to this line, shackles means what? You know, shackles means impediment, the obstacleness, the res restrictions, the restraints. Okay, so apartheid here will be the answer of restraints. And number four, uh, race discrimination according to line nine refers to. That means you will have to find out the meaning, the actual meaning of that number line. Because if you translate only the surface meaning, that will be not the answer. Line number nine is I hate race discrimination most intensely and in all its manifestations. So I hate race discrimination. That means Nelson Mandela hates differences on the basis of caste, creed and color. Okay, so number A will be the answer. Number five, the word manifestation line nine means what? Line number nine says I hate race discrimination most intensely and in all its manifestations. That means he also hated its all branches, its all roots. So what will be the answer of manifestations? The first is presentation, no. Second is right, no. Third is changed, that is no. And number D, sign. That means he hates race discrimination and he hates every sign of race discrimination. That is called the manifestation. So sign is the exact answer. Number six. Number six, the word healing means, you know, heal means to cure. It is a very easy word. And according to li line 12, what is the inner meaning? Line number 12 says, the time for the healing of the wounds has come. The time for the healing, you know, here the healing is also the surface meaning and the deeper meaning is same. So it will be cured. Next, number seven, here the word chasm refers to, you know the chasm, chasm means cleft, okay, this is the surface meaning chasm means the cleft. So what is, what will be the underlying meaning of the chasm according to line 13? So have a look at this line 13. Line 13 says, the moment to bridge the chasms that divide us has come. The moment to bridge the chasms, that means the moment the, to communicate to make over the differences. Here chasm means different. This is the underlying meaning. So underlying answer will be hatred. Okay. So cleft is the surface meaning and it will not be the answer. Exact answer will be the hatred. The word emancipation. You know emancipation means liberation, freedom. That is called the emancipation. But according to line 13, what is the meaning of the emancipation that is the quotient in line 13 we have at last achieved our political emancipation so here the surface meaning and the underlying meaning i mean the inner meaning is the same so here emancipation means the liberation we have finished the mcq questions and one thing is very important surface meaning is not enough for you you will have to understand the underlying meaning because in a question you will be asked what will be the underlying meaning? So now let us turn on to fill in the gaps. I mean write more verbs here. Okay. So have a look at this. So here the first line is Mandela B among the first to advocate armed resistance to apartheid. So here in a bracket there is a B. There are eight members of B. M is R was were being been. So there are eight members of B. So it is a past form of B. That is why it is it will be was or were. Here Mandela is a third person singular number. That is why the answer will be was. So Mandela was among the first to advocate arm resistant to apartheid going underground in 1961. That means he went to underground in 1961 because the police actually was searching him to form the ANC armed wing. ANC means African National Congress. This is a wing he has, he had made it, okay. He, da he leaves South Africa. You know, this passage is telling about the past form. So that is why leave is a 
base word here it will not be placed here okay so the past form of leave is let because it is past indefinite tense so he left south africa past portion is past indefinite tense so after and another past indefinite portion will be placed so here travel travel is also the base form the past form of travel is traveled so answer will be traveled and first is left so he left south africa and traveled the continent and europe studying guerrilla warfare and building support for the anc okay so he made a guerrilla group to build anc and it's armed wing branded a terrorist by his enemies that means enemies called them as a terrorist mandela sentenced to life imprisonment in 1964 so here sentence is active voice so we will have to make it into a passive voice okay so mandela was sentenced isolated from millions of his countrymen as they suffer oppression you know suffer is a very base form so we will have to make it a past form so as they suffered oppression or you can say as they were suffering both will be the correct because past continuous and past indefinite will be placed here okay so as they were suffering oppression or as they suffered oppression violence and forced resettlement under the apartheid regime of racial segregation okay the next line is he imprisoned on robben island it will be also a passive voice but here it is active voice what will be the correct answer correct answer he was imprisoned on robben island okay that means he was detained he was in a case okay so he was imprisoned on robben island the penal colony of cape town okay where he and here the word is spent spent means passing the time but this passage actually says about the past forms so here spent i mean the base form will not be placed it will be spent where he is spent the next 18 years before being moved to mainland prison so in this way actually you will have to improve the right form of verbs i mean the grammar item okay it will help for you for the next year okay and now let us turn onto the question answer session i will show you how to answer ws questions okay so have a look at this so here the question according to your textbook the question is why did nadain gurdimar remark that he is at the epicenter of our time ours in south africa and yours wherever you are so this is the ws questions okay and you know what do you mean by the ws questions that means a word which includes w and s that is called the ws questions so have a look at this if i write who here w and s if i write who is here w and s and if i write what here also w and a so when you get why you must write the answer with because every ws question plus do does or did okay if there is present form that will be do and does and if there is past form that will be the did there will be also the b verb i mean am is a etc okay so have a look at this how i answer this why nelson mandela is not only for the south african that is the sum of questions you see nelson mandela was the idol for every oppressed people every oppressed nation okay so he is not only for the african people and he was not only for the african people rather he was for every suffer people in the world okay that is why nadan gordim gordimar said that he is not only the african people rather he is the people of world okay so number two what emancipation did mandela hint at by saying we have at last achieved our political emancipation so what so it it means characteristics you will have to add here okay so what emancipation did mandela hint what kind of emancipation by saying this 
that means this line is we have at last achieved our political emancipation so political emancipation means what so i'm writing the answer so here what emancipation did mandela hint what kind of emancipation actually he wanted i mean nelson mandela wanted so he wanted emancipation to emancipation right to vote that means the black people they didn't have any right to vote and the emancipation political emancipation means to get right to vote okay this is the emancipation and another emancipation means to speak up that means they didn't have any right to speak against the government okay so this was the emancipation and to get equal opportunities you know they didn't have the equal rights they did they didn't get any rights as as, as a citizen okay so that is why uh, here political emancipation at last as a political emancipation means all kinds of emancipation all kinds of liberation okay so that is end of the class and in this way actually you you will have to understand the inner meaning of the sentences inner meaning of the words so that you can answer the mcq questions and you will have to know the right form of verbs also because without this you cannot write the sentence correct whenever you write the question and answer you will have to very conscious what the form of the question is whether it is present form or the past form you will have to decide okay and after that you will have to write so that is end of the classes today thanks and best of luck see you the next class and if you like my video then subscribe my channel and if you already subscribe my channel then thank you very much that's all